Tabor uses the same banner company as the Boston Celtics, trying to add one more to their arsenal. Eight and a half to play. 75 to 70. Southwestern trailing with the ball. Out deep on the left-hand side. They pitch it out high to Hunter. High arcing three, off the mark. Wide left and soaring in for an a la carte one-handed rebound May for Tabor. Push pass left sideline to Carter. Hooks it short corner near side to Perry with his back to the goal. Back to Carter. Jacks a three off the heel. And Hunter sky high for the board for Southwestern edge of the lane. Up the floor to Wallace. Crosses over. Pirouettes to the rim. Off the glass. Hit falls. Hit a blocking foul. Called on Tabor down low in the restricted area. It's Tabor 75. The last four belong to Southwestern. And it's a three-point game. Tabor 75, Southwestern 72 with right at eight minutes to go. What a move by the junior from Duncanville, Texas. The powerful forward spinning to the basket, kissing it off the glass, and has a chance for the three-point play. He's strong on the free throw off the heel. Tabor quickly up the floor. Spin move down low. Winton gets in too deep, misses off the bottom part of the rim. But the offensive rebound tracked down by Tabor after a deflection here on the near sideline. Carter has it. His heels on the volleyball line at the edge of that J logo. 7.40 to play. Three-point lead for Tabers. They milk the clock. Looking for a good shot. Rise and fire. Winton. Too strong. Backside board Hunt. Hunt had 18 at the half. He's been held in check here in the final stanza with just three. He brings it up for Southwestern. Spin move. Dips the shoulder. Loses it on the way up. But there's Smith to bail him out with the bucket and one. The 6-7 big fella who does not get enough credit around the league. A very underrated big man with the putback for Southwestern. That puts him in double figures with 11 points. He's got five rebounds, and he toes the line. Southwestern has been suffocating defensively, but they've given up six Tabor offensive rebounds, keeping the Jays in it here in the first half. Hunt slices down the right lane line, turned away mid post. Sends it to the left wing, to Horse. Takes his dribble up high on the edge of the J logo around the tail. Jump pass down low. Fans thought he came down with the ball. He gets it away to Smith on the alley-oop lob, and he lays it in near side. 38-35. to 35. It's a three-point lead for the visitors. Southwestern, the four seed, trying to pull the upset. We could have an upset in the making. Left point three, Winton in the air. Rattles halfway down, but it pinballs out. And the board, Smith below the circle for Southwestern. Southwestern's largest lead has been five here in this first stanza. They have it up high between the rings with a three-point cushion. And Southwestern's fans behind us, they are on their feet and they are excited. Horse lobs low on the left to Smith with his back to the basket. Pitches it out front to Hunter. Draws a crowd left point. Dangerous pass barely gets through to Ham. Jump pass to the right sideline to Hunt. Zigzags down low and sneaks it around Perry. The ball toilet bowls in off the front rim. Southwestern shooting north of 75%, and Hunt has 18 here in the first half of action. Yeah, unbelievable first half for Hunt. Hunt, rather than stay to the baseline, crosses over with one step to the middle, and here's a three by Carter. A shade off the mark to the right from the right wing. Baseball pass left sideline to Horsch. No look ahead to Smith. Power dribble, and the big man finishes on the right block. Southwestern has their largest lead. It's 42 to 35, Builders, 240 first half. And Tabor looks flustered offensively against this 2-3 Southwestern zone. Yeah, Southwestern forcing Tabor to shoot it from the outside right now. The Jays have attempted 15 threes. They've hit on five of them for 33%. They lob to the left arm joint, zinging out front. Here to Winton. Stops at the foul line. Elevates for the rise and fire. It's wide right. No. Rebound saved by a builder. Short corner up. Southwestern in a 1-3-1 look defensively out of the 32nd timeout. Tabor with it out deep on the left-hand side. Up high between the rings. Here's Winton trying to set up the O. They feed Carter at the left angle. Kicks to May. Steps into a three. Rolls off the back rim. Soaring in for an offensive rebound. It's crashed by Winton. He's got it. Zings it up high to Carter, stops at the high post, sends it into the corner, and Patterson reigns in a triple. It's a game of knockout here in Hillsboro. Fourth Tabor three, Southwestern's hit two of them. It's 24 to 20 builders, 12-45 first half. And all that all happened because Julian Winton with that offensive rebound. Wallace goes inside, has it rejected by Gibson down low. Ahead to Carter, Tabor with the balls, they fuel the break. May swings it left to Winton. Still working the perimeter with 12 and a half minutes to go before the break. 24 to 20. Southwestern leads it by two possessions. 
Tabor working the ball around the horn, left to right and right to left as they reverse from sideline to sideline. They have it across the way. They send it over here to Carter. Right point goes to work on Ham. The step through, eight footer, got it. Well, Lance Carter just too good when he gets that deep in the lane, just kind of methodically places his body inside and had a nice touch over the rim. And Lance Carter gets his seventh point of the game. Eight minutes gone by here in this first half of action. Hunt finds Ham, far corner. Now to Wallace. They whip around the wheel to the left. Hunt jabbing at Patterson. Blows by him. Heads to the 10. Shot won't drop, but he's fouled from underneath by Gibson. 24-22. Southwestern by two with 11.45 to go in this first half of action. Uh, Gibson got there, but got there a little late. And Hunt got to the side of Gibson's body. He didn't take it clean. So Hunt at the line for two more free throws. Hunt, wide stance, free throw, front iron, glass and through. 6'3", 165 pounds, thin and wiry. 